Brandon is quite a sensible young man who believes in science and approaches everything logically. Some people would even say he's not the most interesting person in the world. Like many people, to ensure his future welfare, he has to cultivate many skills. He lists out the skills in a scientific way and puts them in order of priority. On this endless list, mathematics and Mandarin are tied as the priority for this stage of his life. And as someone who has shown a gift for mathematics from a young age, he is able to calculate that a young man with no background in Mandarin needs to study for an average of 2,200 hours to be proficient. This is why he has come to Taiwan. Studying Mandarin seems quite a difficult and drawn-out process. Brandon starts his analysis from the essentials, evaluating the benchmarks of study as quality, effectiveness, and cost. From the perspective of learning quality, language is a tool for communication, a carrier for culture, and Chinese script is the only of the three ancient script systems that survive to the modern day, with the shape, sound, and meaning being very closely linked. Taiwan is the country that uses traditional characters most widely without undergoing simplification. So they are works of art that have been passed down for thousands of years. Taiwan is also a Mandarin-speaking democracy with academic freedom not subject to censorship and freedom of speech is protected. Here, you can express whatever you want through the Mandarin you have learned. The Mandarin language learning system in Taiwan is comprehensive and well-resourced, and the testing and grading system are aligned with international standards. For Brandon, the test of Chinese as a foreign language is a systematic way to review his own progress and to really get a grip on his level of Mandarin proficiency. Those who pass the test will receive a certificate from the Ministry of Education as a staged application of diversity learning outcomes, which is extremely helpful for those that wish to remain in Taiwan to pursue further study or work for a transnational corporation. Moreover, studying Mandarin in Taiwan is the most efficient choice. Taiwan has a comprehensive public transport network and many Mandarin centers, allowing you to easily choose a place to study and live that fits your preferences. Not only in big cities, but also in small towns, you can get everything you need within 10 minutes. Also, Taiwan has the second highest density of convenience stores in the world. We've redefined the concept of convenience. You can save this time for traveling. Taiwan is an island nation with international perspective. Here, wherever you go, you'll always meet friendly strangers who are willing to share local culture with you, and you can practice Mandarin with them. If you use this time to prepare for your future career, Taiwan is an important hub in Asia. So we're in line with global corporations for career opportunities. If you just want to take this time for yourself, you can relax. Taiwan is the second safest country in the world. So you can enjoy your time wherever you go, even at night. Of course, cost is also an important consideration. Taiwan's price index is quite low in Mandarin-speaking regions. You can get great home flavors for a reasonable price, regardless of where you're from. Foreign students are more likely to be troubled about gaining weight than going hungry. But don't worry, we also have a top-notch healthcare system with high quality and low costs, which will smash your preconceptions about medical care. Studying Mandarin here is not only reasonable in terms of cost, there are also exhaustive free resources, and many scholarships are waiting for you. Brandon, at this point, we should really tell you that learning a language isn't just learning a new skill. It is experiencing the whole culture and lifestyle. Given that your time studying Mandarin occupies this precious time in your life, choosing a place you'll be happier doesn't require a reason, even if we've already given you so many. Some people say Taiwan's most beautiful part is its highly dense biodiversity, or that on her limited terrain, there are over 200 mountains of over 3,000 meters in height. Or they talk about how she's an island in the Pacific, or about the diversity of local cultures, or her passionate and friendly people. So, Brandon, what do you think? What do you think the most beautiful part of Taiwan is? Now, when we ask about you, they'll describe you like this. They'll say, Brandon, he's really great. 
he's really funny. I love all of the stories that he shares with me. I love everything about Brandon. I love his cute accent when he speaks Mandarin. 我会很想念他的，但不知道我们还会再见面。They say a lot, but at least you're not so boring anymore. For us, Taiwan's most beautiful part is you coming here and becoming a better you.